All right, so looks like I'm back to reacting to random for your guys' entertainment because, well, you know, I actually care about you guys to a certain extent. Not that much, but, you know, enough for me to want to keep you semi-entertained. I know, I'm such a good guy. But anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to this video titled Velma Worst Jokes Compilation Episode 2 to 4. I actually have not seen the show Velma yet, so this is going to be a fresh reaction. However, I hear it is pure donkey shit. And as far as I can see, if my eyes serve me right, the show currently has a 6% rating on Rotten Tomatoes and a 42% rating by the actual critics. You know, critics generally have garbage takes, but looks like for this case, they might be onto something. But in any case, with that being said, let's get into this, I guess, cringe. You didn't mention Fred had a tiny dong. Oh yeah, real baby carrot. And I'm gonna ride it all the way to victory. Oh, uh, that's, oh my God, what the fuck? That is actually, that's bad. Like, that's just not funny at all. <laughs> like it's actually so bad that that kind of made me uncomfortable and it's only been what like 60 seconds so far into the video you know what 420 is right um yeah it's code for adults who still watch cartoons <laughs> i'm sorry i i don't get that joke was that supposed to be some kind of elaborate roast on people who smoke weed because the stereotype is that anybody who smokes weed must be immature or unintelligent and anybody who fits into that category probably watches cartoons as well like way to shit on your demographic hbo oh god he looks like hitler and not just because we compare everyone to hitler these days okay so that joke wasn't half bad because it's actually true people do throw out the two words hitler and nazi way too much nowadays when it's not even that serious like i know some of you think trump was comparable to hitler but i can assure you unless trump was out here sniffing coke smoking meth and gassing well i can't say that on youtube but you get the point. I don't think that's a fair comparison. Do I know you? It's Velma from school. You cheat off me in Spanish because you think I'm Mexican. Maybe. I have a disease where I can't recognize people who aren't hot. My doctor says it's basically sickle cell for rich guys. Is it called rudeness? It is. So I'm not gonna lie, I had to watch that like four or five times back to back to back and I still don't like understand the fucking point of that. Like I'm actually completely lost. And if any of you actually laughed at that because you actually thought it was funny, I have some questions. Who in this whole writing department for this script thought that people would actually be laughing at that? Like, are Mexicans even known for being exceptionally smart? No disrespect, I'm just saying. Isn't the stereotype meant for Asian people? Emotional death! Ugh. Ugh. This school sucks. Bro, did they really put two cockroaches that just crawled out of a potato chip bag and inserted them into a scene to where one cockroach just starts humping the shit out of another one unexpectedly without no type of consent? Like, weird, buddy. You're weird. I'm actually just weirded out right now because nobody asked to see that and I've never seen anything like this in my life before, so... Oh. This is a first. I just wish I hadn't. Team shower discussion topic of the day. Have you ever noticed how pilot episodes of TV shows always have more gratuitous sex and nudity than the rest of the series? Oh my god, I have. So true. That's how we learned what Rachel Brosnahan's boobs look like. And Don Cheadle's butt. Well, I for one think it's lame. Agree. So lame. The lamest. Just admit, we are all secretly perverts. Never! <laughs> <laughs> So I'm actually confused about this specific scene because aren't Velma and like her, the gang, like 14 and 15, like aren't they sophomores and juniors literally in the middle of high school? But for some reason, HBO decided that having this scene in a cartoon meant for adults would have been a good idea. I'm just saying, because if this is acceptable to be on HBO, which is one of the biggest media production companies in the world, if this is acceptable, then I guess pretty soon we're going to be seeing lolly cartoons popping up in the mainstream media too. You hear that, Shad Base? This might be an opportunity for you. FBI, open up! Uh, I do miss my mom. Uh, prison is cool, but nobody watches me pee quite like mother. Wow, another perverted joke that we were supposed to laugh at. Ha 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 ha. How do I look? Like I want to scream about how loud your mom chews. Oh, I feel funny. Did they drug our food again? so unflattering and disarming Aww. nah nah what's up with this look why is he looking at fred like this like he about to do something that he's not meant to do hold up hold up i know this ain't what i think it is 
Man, honestly, I, I can't believe that this is the actual show. I I'm just watching like clips from the show, like all the jokes and shit, and this is not funny at all. Like at this point, the only memorable part that kind of made me chuckle was the Hitler and cockroach parts, and that's it. I mean, the Hitler part was kind of true because it was a play on actual stereotypes in real life, and the cockroach one just kind of made me flabbergasted. Like that, that, that was actually baffling. I just did not expect to see that in a in a cartoon. I ain't gonna hold you. Two cockroaches humping each other. That shit is kind of wild. But yeah, if this is a good representation of what i would be seeing if i actually sat down and watched this show then i don't think i ever want to watch it ever willingly unless somebody strapped me down to a chair tied me up with rope put a gun to my head and forced my eyes to stay open while i watched this behemoth of a fucking disaster but uh yeah do let me know your thoughts and opinions down below um i i just wasted like 20 30 minutes of my life recording this because i thought there would at least be something worthwhile to kind of laugh at but yeah so far um and i'm not even exaggerating this was this was kind of disappointing and my expectations were already rock bottom but yeah if you're new to the channel like subscribe share this content although if you don't share this specific video i wouldn't blame you this shit was kind of ass and yeah until next time stay safe out there